I want to step away uh, from thinking about the past and thinking about the now. Yeah. Um, we spoke a little bit about, and you brought it up a c quite a few times, how you were kind of bored about recipes. I want to dive into recipes and more specifically into food. Now, <laughs> I, I love to eat. Yes. Uh, and I think there's a lot of parallels between food and music. That's uh, for sure. If you get bored, you can't eat pizza all the time. You can't have <clears> it for <throat> breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, seven days a week for every single meal. Mm. But um, I think there's some value in sort of keeping things fresh musically, yeah. but also. Yeah in food. Yeah. As I understand it, you've got a love for food as well. Yes. Um, I've got a love for, for food since I, was, I, since I was a kid, actually. I used to cook with my mom sometimes oh, and that right. kind of stuff. Yeah. Aww. And that was a very un-Dutch thing to do, I think, right. even at that point. I mean, yeah. you have a lot of eating cultures and dinner cultures, uh, let's say uh, Italy, for example, which is very normal to just, you know, get with your parents and make food and make cooked pasta and that kind of stuff. Yeah, then in the sure. Netherlands, that's that's I didn't, how we grew up. <coughs> so, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a way different call in the Netherlands. It's, it's nothing like that. I mean, okay. your, your mom cooks a dinner and your dad comes home from work and you all sit together and eat the dinner. Mm. And that's okay. pretty much how it goes. And you have, yeah. most of the time back then, at least, were quite boring dinners. But, Stop uh, it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it's, it's not boring. It's nothing boring about that. But if you eat it too much, it gets boring yeah, very yeah, quickly course. because yeah. it's not very exciting food in a way. Sure. Um, so, um, well, back, back then my mom was already experimenting to get it kind of like out of that vibe, so to say. Mm. And she wanted to cook more other stuff. And I really was interested in, in that stuff. So yeah. uh, sometimes I cooked with her and sometimes I didn't. And well, after that, when you grow older, you kind of grow out of it for, for a bit. Okay. And then when I uh, turned, I, don't, I think it was about 15 or 16 years old, my mom and, and my dad were both at work sometimes, and then I needed to cook for the family instead. It's just practical. And then it yeah, comes yeah. kind of from there, you know, it kind of came from there. And I loved cooking since, uh, since then, in a way. And nowadays, I'm, I cook every single day, and I prefer cooking at home for friends than going out to the restaurant. Because Dope. I just nice. enjoy cooking so much that I feel like it's, a, for me, a more enjoyable experience than sitting somewhere in a restaurant. Yeah. Okay, so I've got to ask, what's your specialty <coughs> dish? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's my specialty dish? Like well, what's, I, what's the one that you want to impress your friends with? Well, I, um, I really like uh, to do a good classic bolognese, like a okay. really, mm. like a ragu bolognese. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The, the real, real meat. The real, real stuff, oh. yeah. like the classic. <laughs> yeah. I, most of the times I do use spaghetti. If I think classic wise, it's, it's tagliatelle yeah. that you yeah. use, but I use spaghetti. Yeah. Um, mostly because as well, I do a lot of gluten-free stuff and then spaghetti is easier to get than... Oh, okay. sure, for yeah. sure. Anyway, um, <clears throat> and then and next to that, I uh, really a, a dish that I found uh, a while ago in a recipe book that I really think is interesting. You have this white cabbage, which you marinate into lemon and oil and uh, okay. lemon zest on top of it. Okay. Then you roast it in the oven. And then on top you add tarragon and parmesan cheese. And it's a really weird combination, but yeah. if you eat that, you're like, oh, this is restaurant quality shit right Okay, there. okay. That's the kind of like very simple yet very eccentric stuff that I enjoy cooking, that kind of stuff. Nice. Okay, the future in noise cabbage special. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it. Well, it, it is a recipe that I found in a book and I tweaked it a little bit into my direction. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, most of the times I buy recipe books and I cook them and I tweak it yeah. into my direction that I enjoy. I love that. It's a, it's a real new age man thing. Like, yeah, I'm good in the kitchen. <clears throat> I'm, you know, making beets, making food. That's it. I feel like it's a good combo. But Sam comes from a Colombian background, uh, even though he's born in Australia. I come yeah. from a Croatian background. And one thing that's very common in that is onion and garlic in our cooking. It oh, is yeah, the too. be all, the end all. Yeah, if, the foundation if of the, the flavor. If the recipe yes. says one garlic, we put 10 garlic. Yeah. But I understand that you are allergic. <clears throat> is that yes. right? Yes. No, I'm not, I'm not allergic in the way that I really can't stomach it. Okay. Okay. I'm using it. I'm, I'm not eating it because of the diet that I have to follow for my uh, inflammatory bowels. Oh, okay. So okay. that's why I don't eat any garlic and onion. And in a way, it's nice that I do. I enjoy cooking because I could just simply remove it, remove and, it, and, and, take it and, and try to figure out something, a way to uh, use different ingredients to substitute for it. Yeah. Because you can substitute onion in a lot of soups and stuff. I use uh, in a lot by just you adding some carrot. Carrot is also it's kind of like the sweet okay. taste, and then you, if you, uh, let's say, mix and blend all soup together, you don't really see that you're missing a, a, You're missing an onion anything, or yeah. yeah. And how garlic. Does, how does this work for the pasta? For the pasta? Yeah, yeah. Where, where, where does the, the, um, the punch come from? Well, um, you have this uh, Indian spice that has a really oniony 
flavor to it. Is that asafetida? <clears throat> yes. Ah, oh, yeah. That's, you can put that into Asso, pasta. what did you say? Asafetida. <laughs> and yeah. let him explain. Yeah, go. Yeah, explain. well, okay. That has a really oniony, leaky kind of flavor to it. Well, mm. I've actually and you can, I've never <clears throat> even heard of it, to be honest. And you can add, add that to pasta sauces and you get, you get the onion flavor in it. Still not the same as garlic, obviously. And missing garlic is a big thing for me. Sometimes yeah. I use garlic oil because apparently the stuff that I don't can, can stomach well mm -hmm. is filtered out by using oil. Uh -huh. Just okay. sure. let the aroma come from the oil instead of the, sure. of the garlic itself. Yeah. But apart from that, yeah, it's, it's, I'm missing out on the garlic. And that's kind of like a hard thing since I'm following this diet, but it works for me, so it's, it's kind of livable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're upcoming as a guest on uh, Cooking with Sheffer. Can you spoil a little bit of the menu? What's, what's, what's <laughs> coming? Yeah, what's what Future you, Noise what bringing cooking? to Cooking with Sheffer? Well, Sheffa is actually cooking the Nagu Bolognese. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's cooking your recipe? No, he's not cooking my recipe oh, because okay. I okay. would do it with red wine and he's doing it with white wine. And okay. he's using, okay. and he's using different, different. different cuts of meat while I would normally just use beef. Right. Right. But I think the classic one is with beef and Pancetta, okay. yep. and yep. he's using beef pancetta and more. I think lamb or something, like different cuts oh, wow. combined. Okay. Yeah, and it was uh, really tasty. Like, oh, okay. Uh, it kind of, uh, he, he, was, he did it real, real classic way, just yep. using tomato paste. Mm -hmm. Well, I sometimes like to add a tomato or two to it, just for some extra flavor, but it's the Sicily way, not the classic. The classic, the classic way, way that we kind of know. But if you had to rate, you know, your pasta <coughs> versus and, and Chef's his. pasta. Um, I think we're kind of level. Sefa's Seth, good, you know. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. Sefa's a good cook, and uh, yeah. we enjoy cooking. We uh, we did we cook together as well, and uh, yeah, he uh, he enjoys it. I'm giving him tips. He's giving me tips. There so, you go. I mean, nice. uh, good stuff. Food and music it binds us all. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Exactly. That's yeah. It. Sometimes uh, I mean, sometimes when Sefa's sending me a message and he's just like showing me this, like, look at the garlic that I bought. He's got this amazing, <laughs> amazing looking Excellent. garlic, Don't garlic broke, and I'm like, oh man, if I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna die. Yes. <laughs>